Oh, YouTubers, since I don't have much time to do the little experiments that I have, I'm going to just uh, show you what I've gotten done so far on just the uh, pulley. This is the uh, first pulley setup that I have gone through, figuring out that this would be on a diamond belt setup, but then having these small pulleys between the six figured that's a little bit too much of a hassle there. So I went ahead and revised it and took those three out and did it on computer and got this. So it's basically this without the three small pulleys between. And I'm going to show you now what I've done freehand on some of it. These are the two pulleys as you can see one has the uh, spline gear portion and these are not connected these are free so one could be flipped to the opposite side and this is the adapter that would go on to the actual shaft it could be flipped around one side yeah you can see it's flat that would just be for the bearing race and this flat portion as you can see would just be over here with the bearing and the spline portion depending on which way you decide to flip the adapter around because going by this I'm going to explain real quick all of the pulleys would be spinning in the same direction it would be driven by one motor and the motors would be in tandem with an alternator it would be driven basically by one motor and then all others would be in tandem with alternators so you have two alternators and it would look like this on the first drive depending on whoever decided to put it together it could be anywhere the motor could be on either of the pulleys it doesn't really matter as long as it's driving the whole system because this is all interconnected as you can see with the tension you would have all of them spinning in the proper direction in the same direction it is all dependent on how you flipped the pulley and it would not be a diamond belt I mean it would not be a v-notch belt it would be a diamond belt because it would have to have the tension and then in between it would actually have the free rent the free willing pulley here holding that tension as you can see I drew very lightly as the lines go one is held in place with the tension and it goes over the other which is free running so you're not going to have any issues with it locking up and then you wouldn't have this issue of having too many pulleys in the system so it's just taking out those small because it would be basically a different ratio for those on the tension that would cause some problems with the power loss so in doing this it's basically keeping it so the ratio for all of the gears all of the pulleys would be the same no matter the placement that is the theory anyway and like I said the system here would be a tandem setup motor in the front alternator in the rear and then for the others it would be two alternators one motor would drive the alternator that would basically supply the power for your battery and in turn of having that you would not have to have 
any issues of a battery pack per se because you would have high output alternators slash generators which would lighten the load on your vehicle which means you would have a little bit more room wouldn't have to worry about any battery packs in the system because you're running everything in tandem and it would be a close tolerance system here close tolerance coupling that would tie everything together and then the sleeve that goes over everything to hold everything in aligned properly for mounting purposes and obviously for aesthetic purposes also you don't want to have things all opened up and plus it'd be a safety issue having high RPM system running and it would be cross drilled this cross drilling would make it so that sleeve would have the p proper amount of cooling and it also be fairly rigid obviously everything would be tied in place with the bolt and preferably the components would be stainless steel or titanium or something else that somebody decided to go ahead and uh, make better than whatever we have today but that's just an idea so if somebody out there has the money they can go ahead and do that so I think it would pretty well work because when I was in high school I did a little experiment with the uh, motors that I got when I was at Radio Shack I put two motors together with the uh, pin that I had I cut off the plastic part got a little ink on my hands but no big deal a little sacrifice for the experiment but I got out the same amount of power and then when I went ahead and hooked it up to one of my little um, transistors I actually made it so it was amped so I actually made a good pretty good amplifier out of the motor it was uh, max rating was uh, 9 volt I put the 9 volts in the front tied this two together and then I put my transistor in the and then put the multimeter that my dad let me use and it gave me actually 12 volts DC so it ramped it up three so I think I did pretty good that was a high school experiment I was a freshman when I did that and this system here as you can see it's not just the standard thing it, it would actually have the shaft elongated so it would go from the front to the rear so when you pull it apart you'll have this section here it would actually be the coupling you'd have to take that and pull that off if you had an issue with over over voltage whatever because some people just want to try to have more power out of whatever they got there's always some experimenter out there anyhow that is something I think would work pretty well so if somebody like I said if somebody has the money they can go ahead and experiment with my idea there see if uh, that will actually work for a large system alright that's it Hope you like the video, leave your comments, complaints, whatever you got. Thank you.